Hi everyone, during late November I stocked up on some holiday candles from Bath & Body Works and I wanted to show them all to you. The candles that I'm going to be showing you all are currently in store and I did get quite a lot. This first one is technically a fall scent I believe. I really loved the packaging because it looks like a wooded forest and I love going on nature walks and it just reminds me of going on my nature walks. Also during the colder months I drink hot cocoa about every other day and it smells exactly like hot cocoa. I have not used it yet because I am currently burning other candles at the moment. Here are the candle notes right here. I first tried out the hot cocoa and cream candle I want to say about two years ago and I was a bit nervous about purchasing it because I thought it's probably just going to smell like burnt milk. But it really doesn't. It smells like when you just make a fresh cup of hot cocoa. And I mean, who doesn't love that? I personally really love that. The next candle I will be showing you all is another um, foodie scent. This is the Merry Cookie. And as soon as either my kitchen candle or my living room candle are done with, this is the next candle that I will be putting up. I love the packaging. And... It smells exactly like sugar cookies. My oven and the day before Thanksgiving, my microwave doesn't work either. So I don't really get to make baked goods. So I really love, especially during the holidays, to have foodie smells because I don't get to enjoy that without having a candle. And this smells exactly like sugar cookies, which I love having sugar cookies around Christmas time. I also really love the lid. It's just a nice snowflake. Here are the fragrance notes. And I got it on sale. I never pay full price for my Bath & Body Works candles. They always have sales and they always have coupons. So I use those in conjunction. This next candle that I'm about to show you all, I got as a Christmas present last year and I loved it so much. I think I've only had champagne once in my life and I'm not really sure if this is what champagne smells like but this is the champagne toast from bath and body works we burnt this candle during new year's eve and we did have some guests over and they immediately told me oh my god like it smells so good is that the candle that you're burning here are the candle notes but what this actually reminds me of is when i was younger i used to drink the cranberry sierra mists this smells almost identical to that we will be burning this for sure during New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. This holiday season, for some reason, I have been very obsessed with gingerbread stuff. I have gingerbread lotion, shower gel, fragrance. I have a liquid lipstick that's gingerbread. What else? I think that's it. Well, I have this candle too. This is the spiced um, gingerbread candle. I don't really buy candles when they have the word spiced in them for the most part because for some reason if a candle like the candle leaves that candle is way too spicy for me like I start coughing and I eat spicy food so I don't know what the deal is but this I smelled it and I believe it was burning in store and I'm like well that doesn't smell spicy at all it just smells like fresh baked gingerbread. The lid isn't really anything special, but it's not, you know, super plain. Another thing is I was already using the body lotion, shower gel, and fragrance from Bath & Body Works in the same scent, and it's not too spicy or anything, and it just, like I said, it just smells like fresh baked gingerbread. This candle is going to be the next runner-up next to the Mary Cookie candle in either the kitchen, the living room, or my bedroom get finished with, then this will be one of the next runner-ups. This is the one that I am using in my bedroom and I was burning it about an hour ago. This is the Twisted Peppermint. I love peppermint also for the holiday season. I love eating peppermint cookies, peppermint hot chocolate, peppermint lattes, peppermint frappuccinos, you get it. But this isn't too strong where it makes you want to gag. I also really loved the packaging. I just wanted to quickly say, I don't really smell the fresh balsam in this, and 
I don't think I really smell the hint of husk either. This next candle is technically not from Bath & Body Works, but I thought I'd mention it because it is the one that I am burning in my living room. This year and last year and the year before that, um, we have used a fake Christmas tree. And I just really love the smell of fresh, of a fresh Christmas tree. So I have the balsam fire, fear, fur. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this properly, but this smells exactly like a Christmas tree. I bought it at Target. It was on sale for $9, I believe. I think their candles, these ones at least, are still on sale for $9. These are the next best runner-ups to the Bath & Body Works candles. Like I said, they're not as good, but they are almost just as good. Those are all the candles that I want to show you right now. There are some candles that I want to buy. I think there are two more candles that I want to buy for the winter season and then after that I'm going to buy my spring and summer and just chill for a bit. But usually during the holiday season we do like to stock up on candles because that's usually when they have their best sale. So the candle that I have in mind and I'm waiting for them to have another sale. Right now they have the um, $10 off uh, $30 purchase but the candles are regular price. They're not $12.50, they're not, I don't know, $14 or anything like that. So the next candle that I really want to get is this one right here. Okay, I'm hoping it focuses, but the fragrance notes on this candle are donuts, vanilla ice cream, and coffee, I believe. I've seen some people talk about this candle and they say it smells exactly like a coffee shop or like Starbucks and I really like Starbucks and I really like coffee shops. I'm not a huge coffee person, but I really do appreciate the smell of coffee. So I really wanna get this one and the other one. Another candle that has caught my eye is the Fresh Sparkling Snow one. Here are the fragrance notes. I believe I said there were only two more candles that I wanted, but uh, I really want this one as well. So I guess technically three is the Butter Rum Eggnog. I really, really like eggnog for the holiday season. The fragrance notes on this is Spiced Eggnog, Vanilla Bourbon, uh, what else was there? Rich Buttercream and Shaved Nutmeg. Now I've never tried bourbon, but for some reason, I tried the maple bourbon from Bath & Body Works for the fall. I love that. I smelled the vanilla bourbon from Target and that smelled really good. Never tried bourbon, for, but for some reason I really like the smell. Also my boyfriend uses like a bourbon cologne from Bath & Body Works and that smells really, really good too. Especially since it got the eggnog in there. I've never smelled a um, or have owned an eggnog candle so why not get one this year even if i don't get the um eggnog and the sparkling snow candles the one candle that i just really 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 want that i have my eyes set on is the campsite coffee so even if that's the only candle i get you know i'm fine i'm good i already as you all saw i have enough candles to last me throughout the winter My cat is officially creeping me out right now because she keeps running from window to window uh, looking outside. She's acting like there's something outside. I'm looking outside and there's nothing out here. There are no people, there are no like turned on cars, there are no you know, cats or dogs outside. Um, I'm trying to figure out what she's been looking at because she's been doing this a lot lately and there's nothing there unless it's like a ghost outside or something, which I hope it's not because that would mean that it's you know, on my front yard, and it's watching me vlog right now. Here, she's coming back. I'd show you guys, but um, you guys would probably see like my neighborhood, and I'm not trying to expose where I live. If there's something outside, you need to tell it that it needs to go somewhere else. Please. I know. I don't know about you guys, but December has been flying by so freaking fast. Like, I can't believe it's almost Christmas. What? It's Christmas in 10 days, and I still need to go Christmas shopping. Oh my gosh. 
I'm waiting for the water to start boiling. I already got out all of the seasoning I'm going to use. I'm going to leave in the description where I got this recipe from. Some raw cashews and unsweetened almond milk for the sauce. The type of pasta that I'm going to use is going to be bow tie, which is the same one that is used in the original recipe. The only difference is I'm not adding the cherry tomatoes since I don't have any at the moment. Okay, the water is almost ready. I'm just going to add some salt so the pasta doesn't stick to each other. I'm going to let the pasta boil for about eight minutes and I'm heating up a little bit of oil to saute some minced garlic. I'm hoping I didn't add too much pasta because I'm only trying to make some for me to eat right now. I love the smell of sauteed garlic and onions. I mean, there's no onions in here, but usually when I make soups and stuff, I saute garlic and onions together and it just, it makes the house smell so good. Pouring in the sauce. Oh yeah. Fast forward, the sauce is made. I'm just combining the pasta with the sauce so it could all be nice mixed in. This is one of my favorite pastas to make. I usually have bread with my pasta, but I have not been doing that lately because, uh, you know, I'm trying not to pack on any pounds this winter. And I'm going to top it off with some Follow Your Heart Parmesan cheese. Fast forward to Saturday morning. I will be closing off the vlog here because I need to start editing yesterday's video. I filmed a makeup tutorial and I need to film the vlog that's supposed to go up tomorrow. My makeup tutorial will hopefully be up on Monday and the vlog will be up on Sunday. So I just hope that you all enjoyed this video. Any requests, anything at all, you can always leave in the comments down below or you can always contact me on my social media, which will be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next vlog.